All right, you guys. <clears throat> so what I'm doing here is the muskrats have a bank hole right there and they actually got one right here. You can see they've been outside feeding around these bank holes, okay? They're pretty big. You could set some 110s in them, um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple sets here that are fairly productive, okay? So, shove this baby in the bottom right here. This is kinda gonna guide the muskrats over to this trap. You can see I've got some stove pipe wire. You can use cable, whatever you want. Shove this down here. This is a Duke number one stock loss. I've had these traps since, I don't know, probably 1994. My dad and I bought these together and I have trapped thousands of muskrats out of these traps. They are an awesome trap, you guys. Get this down here. All right, all I've done is I have an apple and I shoved it on, I, I have a stick. I just shoved it on the top of this stick. Muskrats love apples, okay? This stop loss is going in the bottom right, literally right in front of this apple right here, okay? Muskrats are gonna come out, swim up, love apples, especially the scent of that apple. They're gonna come up and they're gonna wanna take a bite out of that bad boy, just like that. Pow in the trap, jump off. There's a whole, like I said, this run is probably this deep. The, the weight of that trap is gonna get that muskrat to drown right there, okay? That is one. Now I could do, I could do one right here too. I will do that. So I'll do. Yeah, I mean these are so simple. You literally just can dig a little pocket back here, so the muskrats have to come in. Okay. There we go. steak, another chunk of apple, by the way like I said I don't know if I mentioned this before but it's gonna, there's a big warm up coming, I'm gonna put this apple right here, just like that, like it, you know what, so I, I put it on a long stick so the muskrats can't just walk up and bite it and just run off with it, make them, you know, so they gotta pull a little bit on it. Sorry for the sniffles. I got my wire coming out, fed out the bottom of my waders here. Easy peasy, you guys. Stovepipe wire here. You guys can preset these up someplace too. I mean, you don't have to just do it in the water here. You could just set up a bunch of traps that are ready to rock and roll and then just go do your thing. I am not, I just brought some traps with me and I'm kind of winging it, to be honest with you. This is the second day of trapping season here in Minnesota. There we go. I'm gonna go like this. This right here, cart, you know, try to guide the muskrats in. Ugh, right there. somewhere there we go gonna bed this trap right in front of that Must guy's gonna walk up front foot traps gonna pop off gonna go down here and he's gonna be drowned I'm gonna find another stick here or something just to push into the bottom here kind of guide the muskrat in muskrats don't care just so you know you know what I mean I could put a cinder block there and they'd be like oh who cares anyway you guys that is a very simple muskrat set. You can, I mean, you could you could take apples from your trees or, you know, go buy a bag of apples at the store, you know. Um, they really like the sweet ones. You can cut up into smaller chunks, it doesn't matter. Just a very, very good baited set for you guys already. So we'll be back tomorrow and the next day, whatever, see what happens, okay? 
All right, you guys, we're back to our little muskrat sets we made yesterday. The old baited apple sets, right? <clears throat> From here, I can see it looks like a rat floating already on one of them. To be honest with you, it looks like a rat floating over here. Oh, God. Don't. <laughs> right there that looks like a that's a rat that is a rat for sure you guys okay well 100% muskrat catch for sure right there yeah he didn't quite make it out into the deep water to drown but he drowned right here that's a big rat too there we go ah let's see Here we go, you guys. Well, there's your proof right there. Other trap is untouched. I'm gonna make sure that the, gosh, it's almost like the muskrats might have been on it, but I don't know, maybe they didn't set it off. But that, that apple's still sitting there, so I'll try that one again. That one just set it right on the bottom there. Um, oh, my apple's still on here, but I brought more chunks of apple. Here we go, another apple chunk. Going in the ground right here. Oops, no! Okay, there we go. There, stick right there. It's a big rat. It's definitely a big rat. My big muskrat right there. We set the old duke here, you guys. There you go. here pull this out actually go knock this back a little further even you guys see ya uh, here we go with his uh, little bit of struggling and stuff there he made a big hole in the bottom and the muskrats will float on top we don't want that there we go, I just ripped that out. There, right up against it again. Kind of shove this in there for some guiding. Mm, there you go. That is a very, very large river rat right there, boys. Big old river rat. I mean, you don't always have to, uh, don't always have to find the perfect spots to set up. You can make your own spots, as you can see. And beta sets like this are fantastic. You can, use, you can use smaller chunks of apples too if you want. Set them up and down the river where you can't find them living. Like I said, there is a, I think it's right there. There is a run here somewhere where they've been feeding up and down the river. But there we go, results. Proof is in the pudding, right? Ha <laughs> ha, didn't go 20. Okay, you guys, we are back here on my baited muskrat set with the apples. And as you can see, ooh, look at that. You guys, this is freaking awesome. Okay, two apples right there. You can see them plain as day. Okay, so right here. <clears throat> He's, oh yeah, huh? Dead, sure enough. 
big grab by the front foot and that stop loss big rat okay right there other trap droned medium sized rat isn't that awesome mm. double you guys double on muskrats on those baited sets the proof is in the pudding boys Ugh. that one might have been chewed on a little bit too again I don't know Pull my stick out there it is two chunks of apple guarded by two rat traps we got a double those guard or those uh, baited sets are freaking insane money makers <clears throat> especially if you're doing ADC work you know and you guys don't know where the rats are living I've seen a lot of people on Facebook and different places say hey um, I got a I got a golf course pond and the muskrats are tearing it up how do I catch these things okay go along the shore you know <clears throat> or they also make um, you can look on trap supply places they make a stand that goes on a, a that goes on a fiberglass rod that holds traps you can put apples above those you know there's some way you can figure that out but or just go along the shoreline, notch out some holes, put some apples in. There you go. Wham, bam.